What is up, Nisgona guys, Simpsy here, and today for you, I have my first episode of my FIFA 14 Bayern Munich career mode. Now, after the fuck up of the PSG career mode at the ending where I lost half, or I lost, yeah, the, the half of the career mode from January onwards, I thought, why not, let's start another career mode, and uh, instead of holding a vote this time, I decided to go out and pick one myself, and uh, a lot of you guys have suggested this regardless. Uh, a Bayern Munich career mode, and um, I thought Bayern Munich could be cool. We haven't played in the Bundesliga yet. We've played in the Liga BVA, the League One uh, Bundesliga now, and so we've still got obviously the Serie A and the BPL to do. So guys, if you want me to do a career mode, put in the comment section down below uh, teams you'd like me to play as, because I usually hold a vote, but in this case I didn't because I, because of the fuck up, and I wanted to choose on my own. But I usually, like, I get a whole bunch of suggestions together from you guys and then put them in the poll and then, oh, excuse me, um, you guys vote from then on. So, basically what we need to firstly do for Bayern Munich is buy a striker. Uh, obviously we have Robin and Rubri. Um, Bayern Munich in real life, this is as well, they don't really need a very good striker because they have Rubri and Robin making the runs. If they've got a good, an average sort of finisher because... Gomez and Mandzukic aren't really world class, or oh, they are, but they're good, they're good players, but they're not like the Sergio Aguero or the Suarez or um, any, or like Rooney or any other, I just named all BPL players, <laughs> or Benzema even, like they're not really that clinical finisher. And uh, the, I don't know, like there's, they've got Ruby and Robin doing all the work from them, they just need to head in or tap it in, which is awesome for me. So I'm going to be playing a, I think I'm playing a 4-3-3 I start playing off with. Um, Javi Martinez, most definitely not going to sign this kid. He is a perfect replacement for Bastian Schweinsteiger. And uh, Mandzukic, we do need a little bit more money. Um, so he's 27 years of age. He's kind of, once they get to that 29-year-old, they start decreasing in stats. And he's only an 83 overall, so... Um, uh, Arsenal sent me another back offer for 19 million and I accepted. The same with Dante. We have the money. We're buying Munich. I'm sure they got a lot more money than this in, re in real life. Dante is 29 years of age and he's an 84 overall. If he's an 85, I probably would have kept him. But we managed to sell Mario Mandzukic to Arsenal for 19 million. We got allocated 16 million. And boys, <laughs> I had a decision between Suarez and Robert Lewandowski and I thought why not since I haven't played with Robert Lewandowski and I just missed out of him on my um, my PSG career mode and it's kind of realistic because well, I don't really know what he's doing at the moment apparently there was a rumor that he did sign a uh, the same sort of thing that Mario Goetze signed a pre kind of contract deal to kind of say you want to join uh, Bayern, uh, Bayern Munich, and then furthermore in the summer it's going to convert. But I, I thought that was—I thought he said that was confirmed. I thought that was confirmed. But then he took a, took it back, took it back, and said, "No, I didn't sign anything." So at the moment, or he could have been signed a player. I, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing at the moment. He's kind of all over the place. So I do need a secondary striker after I sold Mario Mandzukic. So we have um, Lewandowski as our main striker. He knows the league, and. Um, and uh, he'd be a perfect. He's like a. It's like a real life sort of thing. So uh, Rubri and Robin sweating him into Lewandowski because he's such a clinical finisher. He's young, and uh, that's just fucking awesome. So we did need a replacement. I did get Daniel Sturridge, and uh, basically, guys, I just want to quickly say um, this first half of the episode is going through transfers and the friendlies and whatnot. We do have a match today. It is against Bayern Munich Gladbach, and it is our. Um, my first match of the season. Unfortunately, against Malaga, Lewandowski actually did pick up a red card in the second match for Bayern Munich. But came back, a girl's only friendly, doesn't count. He ended up scoring 3-0. Uh, I have Bastian Schweinsteiger in the centre defensive mid. Muller and Goetze in the centre mid of ball. Alaba, Boateng, and Butstaber, and Lam. That is a fucking awesome defence. It is strong, it is young, and I'm going to keep it. Um, Goalkeeper-wise, Neuer... He's not too old, so I'll be able to keep him in for this season. Before I, I just want to say a little disclaimer, guys. I'm only playing one season with Bayern Munich, and then I'm going to move on to another club. So, like I said, guys, comment section down below for teams like that. So, we do have a match against Bayern Munich and Gladbach, which is, my, uh, which is actually uh, Marco Royce's old team. I used to play with Marco Royce's in form. What he used, uh, FIFA 12 in form when he used to play for Bayern Munich. And uh, that was 
That was kind of a shit card <laughs> from what I can remember. He wasn't very good in FIFA 12, but FIFA 13 and FIFA 14, Marco Royce is a awesome player. And also in transfer rumor news, um, Manchester United, as I'm a Manchester United support, I fucking love transfer rumors for them. Um, apparently, United could quite be possibly signing um, Marco Royce with a 30 million buyout clause and a swap with Shinji Kagawa. And um, I reckon that'd be that's a that's a that's a lot of money. I don't know how much Shinji Kagawa is worth. Probably around the twenty million mark, I'd say. Like that's how much Royce is worth, and I reckon they would do that. So unfortunately, we conceded against Bayern Munich with a pretty good shot from um, I can't remember who it was, but um, the first couple of games, um, to be honest, I really I don't like anything apart from the four one two and two formation. And I'm not too sure if it's this. In a couple of episodes, I do change it. I'm not going to lie. I did want to have the four, the four three three with the uh, the three center, three camps, and then obviously River and Robin on the wing, sweating it into Robert Lewandowski here, making a superb run. Unfortunately, couldn't be the clinical finisher. So we're slowly taking Borussia Dortmund players uh, onto Bayern Munich. I did bring on Shakiri, Cruz, and Sturridge. Mulner in the 75th minute managed to bag a goal. And uh, he's actually a really good player, Muller. Even though he looks so old, he's, he can play as a striker, left mid, a centre mid. He's, he's fucking awesome. And uh, I have no idea how Shakiri didn't bury that. Sturridge on the ball. Another player I couldn't quite sign in my PSG career mode after I sold Ebra in the January transfer. And obviously couldn't nail the signing. Signing being Teke instead. But unfortunately, we ended up drawing 1-1 against Bayern Munich and Gladbach. We did dominate them in shops, seven shots and four on target. But unfortunately, we couldn't really put it away. But I'm in a new club, a new formation, and I'm learning the players. So guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Simpsy. I'm at Lays, my friends. Goodbye.